guys. Welcome to another episode, or rather the uh, part two of, of the axe restoration. In part one, we restored this nice HB axe, axe head. There you go. So, came out really nice. I, uh, I can't wait to get this episode done, get a nice axe handle on it. So, today we'll be taking this nice piece of oak that I found and we'll be shaping it into a 25 inch axe handle. So the first thing I want to do is take this, uh, this is longer than 25 inches, this is, okay so this is 35 so we'll be cutting it down to about 26 inches and then cutting it to, uh, to length afterwards. So 26 inches should give us a really nice size, a very nice size handle for this. Maybe 24. So I'll go cut that and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so as you can see, the the grain pattern is not too bad. It's a little on the slanted side, but it should, and both sides are, are about the same. Uh, they're actually opposite ends, but uh, the grain pattern is pretty, pretty darn straight. So we should have a nice, pretty nice accent at the end here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is draw out the basic pattern. Um, none of my axes really have any, I don't have another 25 inch handle to go by so we're just going to draw something up um, freehand. <laughs> exactly how you want it to fit. Nice and snug. <laughs> Alright so we have our basic outline of uh, an axe handle. You know, I'm not really sure if I actually don't even know. I find this a bit too wavy. I don't want it straight straight, but at the same time. Alright, so. <clears throat> Here is our outline. I don't know if you could you see that, but anyway. So, we're going to try the wood removal with an axe. And that will be done right there. Got my little cutting station here. All right, <laughs> we got the very rough outline of uh, of the head. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this into a vise. So in the middle, perfectly aligned. You better darn be, darn well be.
All right, so now that we got the pretty much uh, most of the shape, uh, more or less, <laughs> more or less drawn out, uh, we're going to do about the same thing with this side. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to take uh, one of my smaller axes and, and I'm going to draw uh, on either side the the profile of um, of the width of what this the the handle is going to be. Then we're going to take off the excess on either side. So I'm just taking this Wetterling's uh, small hunter's axe. And I'm putting that there. Right in the middle. Now a neat trick with this, uh, when doing wood removal, okay, is to pick a side. Sorry. Okay. So on this, you you pick a section that you want to remove, and then you do little cuts, little sh like just the little hard shallow cuts, going up a bit, three or four, whatever, and then you, you then you take it down. Okay, so those are, those are called stop cuts. They're gonna uh, they're gonna stop you from going into too much into the wood. So if I want to remove this section, I'll start from the bottom, and I'll cut into it, and I'll keep creep up, and then I'll go down. See, I just I just removed this large section of that a, a large section there, and I was and it was controlled. All right, so you just get cut into it. You just keep looking at the lines, chopped upwards, and then kind of shave it up, shave it up. Okay, that'll keep you controlled, and it also helps remove quite a bit of material uh, at a time. Hello. 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 Second stage done. I got uh, so once we got the axe, uh, I got the profile off with the axe. I basically just took uh, the um, the draw draw knife and got just the most of the axe little axe marks out of this, which just kind of smoothed out the exact same shape that we took it apart. I started working a little bit on uh, the axe head, but that's so. This is basically uh, in essence the form factor that we'll have at the end. Uh, so now the next step is to uh, take the so, so start rounding off. This is basically a square piece of wood. So to start rounding off uh, the corners with the draw knife. And then once the, the corners is basically 45 degrees or more or less, uh, I'll take the spoke shave and we'll get it nice, nice and smooth. All right, so that's the next thing. Okay, so now that I've gotten the the size rounded, I'm going next with um, my old spoke shave that I got from the flea market. Let's give it a try. Let's see how this thing works. And this is just it's, it's supposed to make it really. It takes off a lot less. More controlled. I might have it set a bit high here. Well, like, I'd like it to be a little bit less. So it, lets, it allows you to get more control and less, and less chance of tear outs. It's easier for these little nicks too. Uh, a sign of progress. 
so I was able to get like uh, get a really nice shape and a really smooth a smooth uh, outline with the uh, spoke shape. It's an amazing tool. Love it. And now I'm able to uh, just insert probably about a quarter inch into this. That's awesome. It's a start, it's a great start. So from here, I know I got the basic shape and I just have to slim the slim the bottom until this thing's gently, oh, s tightly squeezes in. So awesome, we're making some progress. So once it comes out, you see, see I see that it's mostly rubbing about back here and I see that the top here is rubbing a bit and then I see here it's rubbing a bit. So I'm gonna take I'm going to take, start taking some off the back here because it seems that that's where it's rubbing the most. Very important to really check where it's rubbing as, uh, as you go. Because you don't want to just randomly take stuff off. Almost, almost. All right, so I got the fit pretty much where I want it. It is probably about an eighth of an inch higher than uh, than the blade. So I'm going to uh, just use some some saw, uh, whatever, uh, sandpaper strip to just. Uh, even though it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. I'm just gonna still. I'm gonna sand the whole handle down, and then we'll flip it over. We'll cut uh, the. We'll, we'll cut the top in half right down the middle uh, like you guys have always seen and then uh, we'll get we'll start it on the wedge and uh, yeah that's the next step. So we have the the cut in the middle. So the final fitting. Let's get this wedged in there as high as we can. So we got, you see the nice little curls pretty much evenly throughout the, <coughs> it's a lot of dust. <coughs> I just finished sanding this so that as hitting it, it's got a bunch of dust dislodged. <coughs> Sheesh. <coughs> God. All right, that's perfect because you see the little burls going all, all around pretty much evenly which means it's like really really tight at the base evenly and the, the axe head if I look down the sight is pretty darn straight especially for my first try at uh, doing an axe. Alright so I cut a slice in line with the uh, the growth rings so the growth rings are the diagonally so I cut in line with the growth rings so I can get a slice as strong as possible. And then I just uh, tapered it uh, as best I could into a slice about the length of the uh, the height of the blade, of the, yeah, the, the head. So um, I gauged the thickness of the top to the thickness on my other Wetterling's axe. So hopefully this is thin enough. And um, yeah, so. Hopefully this does the job, since it'd be kind of hard to do a second time. 
So I have it uh, solidly attached here. And yeah. Let's hope this works. Ooh, good start. It goes in. Okay. Since I want it to not have any stress on any particular one, depending on my hit, I'm just going to hit this. going until I feel it doesn't go any farther. I don't think it's going any farther than that. Okay, so not the cleanest job in the front. Um, yeah, the wedge could have been a little bit, could have been a bit wider. Came with the back a bit. Um, but it should, I mean, it should do the job. It it did wedge that nice and tightly in there. There's no space, especially in the back, there's like no space whatsoever. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna cut away these little, these little burls there. You guys ready for the finish? <laughs> All right, so I've got my uh, twice boiled or double boiled linseed oil. It's all shaken up. I'll just bring the camera down so that we can guess. So with this setting, it's a bit better. You can see a little bit more of the color, the color difference in the oak. This is actually, it's a bit darker than what it looked like before. So, very cool. I find this axe has its nice form factor, nice curve to it. Nice palm swell on the bottom. Just enough to make a difference to, so that the axe won't slip out. All in all, pretty, pretty straight. I mean, this was all done by hand, so uh, I got, I see some, you know, slight variations in thickness, which is, I find very charming to my, like for me, it's, it's, it's something that I made by hand, so it's not supposed to be perfect. Uh, so that doesn't bother me one Hey bit. guys. So to finish off this, this, uh, this episode, I couldn't in good conscience, couldn't, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't in good conscience, uh, publish this without actually testing out the axe and the solidity of the head. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna go out in Mayard and I'm gonna find a tree that's, uh, I have several of them that are due to be really, to, due to be called. So I'm gonna go out there and uh, we'll, uh, I'll try to cut down a uh, kind of decent size, maybe a four or five inch tree and see how it ha holds up. I'll split a couple of logs and then we'll test the, uh, the solidity of the handle out. pretty sound as the, the core sound but the tree itself is dead so let's see what we can do. This thing doesn't fall on top of me.
just wanted to show that it still has no wiggle after uh, some good use. All right, so there you go. That's the end of uh, of this episode for the handle. Uh, we've seen that the technique that we used is very effective. Uh, the the head is still very very snug after some use, so I'm uh, quite confident of using this axe now. And uh, so that finishes. Yeah, like I said, this that finishes the the second part. Uh, so the next part will be creating uh, a nice sheath to uh, to protect our our new beautiful axe. Uh, so as usual, I hope you guys like the content and uh, the episode, sorry, and uh, that you guys take the time to uh, like and subscribe if you like if you like the video and uh, leave com comments, ask, uh, ask your questions, uh, if you have any suggestions on uh, how I could have done this differently or if you have any questions about your own project uh, or, or own restoration for your axe handles, feel free to ask me. I'll, it'll be my pleasure to, uh, to help any way I can. Alright, see you guys next time.